Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I'm going to give you the latest tropical update. Also, what's going on with Debbie as it leaves, still bringing those tornado chances for today. Now, it's really going to determine, this is going to be a tricky hurricane to forecast, and they are still showing hurricanes. Matter of fact, the latest on GFS showing a Cat 2 still hitting the East Coast. Now, as this system goes over Puerto Rico and Hispaniola, this is going to make the big difference. Is it going to be on the southern side? Or is it going to be on the northern side? Now, the northern side would obviously get pulled around the high pressure in the Atlantic and go quicker. If it takes a little bit longer, like it's showing with other models, it will go over landfall, stay weak, go further to the west, and, and be potentially a big problem either for the southeast, still the east coast, or the Gulf of Mexico. But if it is on the northern side, there's a potential that it could just get pulled around this high pressure really fast into the northern Atlantic before it expands. And that is the trend that it will expand. And Debbie is post-tropical. It will be going out rather quickly. Still bringing some more rainfall, but still bringing these tornadoes from that banding around the eastern side of this low pressure. So thank you to everyone that did hit that like button yesterday. You did help alert a lot of people what was going on, not just what's going on in the tropics, what Debbie is actually doing right now on landfall. It brought a lot of tornado and tornado reports yesterday. Matter of fact, your chances for tornadoes has increased, just like what we saw yesterday, and it did ramp up. They put a 5% in there now, and it could be a little small area, maybe of a 10 or 15%. But this has increased since yesterday, just like we saw in Colorado State University. So I'm going to show you all the latest information in this video. That way you know what to expect from this as it leaves out today, plus what's left in the tropics. If you've never been here before, make sure you subscribe. I am all year along with my weather forecasting. And make sure you click that bell and select all. That way you get all the updates. If this video does help you, make sure you go to the like button down below, even the share button down below, and help other people see this information so they know what's going on as well. We could potentially have some really bad news in the tropics or some really good news. Now, first, the severe weather from what's left from Debbie. And you can see from yesterday, we had eight tornado reports, but we also had other possible tornadoes that was showing a lot of wind damage, possible tornado. And it's not just for North Carolina. This went into Virginia, just like that tail whip, like I was showing you in yesterday's video, showing possible tornadoes on all this wind damage reports that came through yesterday. So please be alert. There is chances for today. Also, even over here in Pennsylvania, chances for multiple tornadoes, not eight, maybe 10 or more, maybe around 12 tornadoes yesterday. And sitting at the power outages for today, so you can see Ohio still messed up in northeastern Ohio. They're at 196,000 without power. But we also have Virginia, 34,000 without power. North Carolina, 27,000. West Virginia, 13. And even Maryland with 12,000 without power. Florida still has 3,000 without power. A little bit for Jefferson County. But there is power outages going on for the Northeast. And this is going to add up a little bit more. Even New Jersey with 2,800. Even Delaware got a couple hundred. There is some good number of power outages that is going on for right now. But you do have that tornado threat for today. You see how it has grown. Even the northern side, I'm showing the strongest winds as you go through the evening. So you got to watch out for damaging winds as well. But so far, here's your cities and states at risk for the chance for tornadoes for today. And still showing on Colorado State University that this will be upgraded for the northeast. From Pennsylvania, northern New Jersey, through New England. That it could be an upgrade on your chances for tornadoes for today. So you can see right when you get around noontime through 2 o'clock. You still get a little tail whip going through North Carolina. So that could be ramped up just a little bit for a little while this afternoon. You see how that front brings all them storms all the way to 5 and 6 o'clock. But you see how it also builds as it goes through from Virginia into Maryland. You get some cells also that carries in towards Delaware also goes through New Jersey. And so it starts going northern at this point. Once you go around 4 or 5 o'clock, it starts raising up to the northern side of New Jersey, New York, and New England states from Connecticut on as you go through the evening. And this is where your winds will off really pick up. Still getting some storms on that tail whip going through Virginia, a little bit of Delaware and Maryland as well as that goes out. So you do got to watch out for that this evening. But it shows that the winds aloft are a lot stronger for the northeast for New England. Now you can see this as you go through the evening that your winds are 
rather strong on the eastern side of this. Chances for your tornadoes as you go all the way to this morning. But once you go through this afternoon, it picks up on the northern side of those storms, bringing stronger winds aloft, bringing more chances for damaging winds, but also chances for tornadoes as it moves later in the evening. As a matter of fact, when you go to the 15-minute increments, you can see once you get around 11 o'clock this morning, starting to get some cells moving through a little bit through North Carolina, but you also got them moving through Maryland, moving through Pennsylvania and New York. And you see how that pushes through for the evening just till 2 and 3 o'clock in the afternoon. That's it. Until then, we are still showing that it will bring 40, then start strengthening up to the 50 miles per hour wind gusts. This is only until 2 p.m. This is going to continue to the northeast, and these winds are going to strengthen because of the winds aloft also strengthen. So be careful for that. You can see right now your latest tropical update. It's up to 60% chance now, and it is growing. This is going to be red by this afternoon, and it all depends if it's on the southern side or, like I said, on the northern side of this track. And it's still showing once you go about four or five days, it's already getting out of whack on where this can go. Now, Euro takes this where it stays kind of weak, but just now starts to strengthen up as it goes by Puerto Rico towards Hispaniola right past to Lesser Antilles, but you see how it takes that northern track right here by Hispaniola. So if it takes that northern track, it would be able to stay strong and keep strengthening. If it goes over landfall, it will remain weak and go into the west, and we're literally talking in between five and six days here. If it takes a southern track, it could go further to the west, then hit landfall, then go further to the west. That's where the golf comes into play. Also, when you see how this one goes northern, you see how the high pressure retracts all the way back into the Atlantic. And that was the original trend that the high pressure was going to retract back, but also shows that the high pressure will start expanding. Now on this one, it strengthens, it turns north, high pressure allows this to pull further to the north, and it tries to start coming back a little bit. But as we go to 10 days, According to the Euro, it's already doing a Hurricane Lee, where it's getting close towards New England, and the high pressure is still way back here, not expanded yet. Now, we have different outcomes. Remember how different the Euro changed as we got closer. So let me show you some more data. This is not set in stone. Now, when you go by the ensembles with the Euro, you can see literally in five days, it could be further to the south, and it also could be slower. Matter of fact, this is the one that this run is taking, is the northern one as of right now. Even growing some pressure, but still showing that those could still head to the north regardless of where this forms further north or further in the rear. It's those southern ones that could go further to the west. So as you go literally seven, now you're going eight days away. It could either turn north because of high pressure retracting back, or it can go further to the west because it's going over landfall here, allowing this to go further to the west, still showing eventually this will turn or go further into, into the west, into the gulf, and maybe turn at the last second and come right up the coast. So either still a fish storm, still down the road, either towards the east coast or going into the gulf and quickly getting pulled around. But if you notice, the euro shows that high pressure expanding eventually and then you see how these start to go further to the west after that but it is seeing this high pressure expanding that's my point showing so far in the latest run that it will be weak for the lesser antilles also it will be weak for puerto rico bring y'all just some rainfall and as it goes northern of hispaniola no further impacts because it would be east side north side loaded you wouldn't get anything bahamas a little bit of rainfall that's about it and it'll go right towards Bermuda, where we got to watch out for Bermuda. But go right to the north. Maybe do a Hurricane Lee towards New England. Maybe curve back towards the northeast later on. So we still got to watch that. When, when, I, when you go by the latest on the GFS, it shows that it will also go right over Puerto Rico. Also agreeing it will slip to the north. This is in the latest run. But at the same time, you can see it takes that westerly track as we get this high pressure expanding out. Instead of staying retracted back, now we're going towards nine days. Euro already had it to the northeast. GFS is taking this slower to where it's feeling that high pressure expanding and goes right towards the coast. 
at the same time. Right on this shot, you are getting a trough right here. And now this trough could easily pull it out. But if it's closer to that coast, that trough is going to pull it right up on that high ridge. Also would amplify it some and help it strengthen at the last moment. And that's what you see on this one, showing a cat two and then swinging around the northeast. Why you got this expanding high pressure, keeping it along the coast the whole time. But you can also see there's multiple waves. So we also got that late forming wave, remember, showing that high pressure in the Gulf, but showing a high pressure does leave eventually. That's what's bringing you all the heat. That's what swings that wave further to the west. That's why you see that little bit of formation possible in the western Gulf of Mexico, while this one turns to the north, because there's multiple waves. But once again, here we are in five days. Now, according to GFS, in five days, these will be a little bit further to the southern side of the Lesser Antilles. And you see how that pushes to the west, showing it could either turn just like the Euro is seeing or go further to the west. And GFS favors pushing that westward push rather than that northward turn. But still, you can see all of them maybe even going right towards the coast, right towards the southeast, push into the Gulf still because of the expanding high pressure or become that fish storm that we got to watch out for Bermuda possibly. So we're still seeing all those potentials still on the board. And we're seeing that westward push after this as well for the next possible couple of waves that come through. Now you can see these possibilities of where it's going to turn literally in a, in a few days. So as we go five days, you can see how it's favoring that little bit of that northward turn headed towards Puerto Rico. But as you go six days, this is where it could either go northern or it could go south southern. On this run, it, it favors northern. And as you go towards eight days and beyond, that's where it gets that abrupt turn. So either it's going to strengthen and turn to north or it's going to stay on that southern and westward track as we go towards 10 days. So this is literally looking towards 9 and 10 days on this shot. And it's a little too far, to be honest. This could change. You remember what the Euro did last time. What we're going to see in 6 days is going to tell us a lot. And for those that don't know, keep wondering why I keep saying this could be a Hurricane Lee. You can see what Lee did strengthen up quickly, but it went real close towards the northeast so this is what we got to watch out for as well so literally in six days we will know what the possible outcomes are look at the possible areas so this is with the euro in five days showing it just a tropical wave i had to bring the icon in on this you know i did the icon showing a little bit stronger than just a tropical wave still showing the same location Unfortunately, that's as far as we can see with the icon. And you can see with GFS in five days, already has it strengthening up, bringing a potential problem towards Puerto Rico. So what this is going to do five and six days down the road is going to tell us everything. So when we go to the ensembles of the GFS, let's see exactly what is going on. So as we go towards five days, there is five days from right now. And you can see a lot of them show it going towards the Eastern Caribbean, even some of them showing a little southern, but all of them are green. It'll be around that location, right by the Lesser Antilles, right towards Puerto Rico. You can see these passing by, the majority of them. Even your control member right here, this is your more than likely outcome, showing that high pressure will be expanding, and that will eventually keep going to the west. So now we're at six days, showing possibly further to the west because of the expanding high pressure. A green here also, it will be on the southern side of Hispaniola. Now, when we look at the other ones, there's some that show it would be on the northern side, still over here by Puerto Rico, the southern side by Puerto Rico. Look at this, even further to the west, northern side, going right over Puerto Rico. This is pretty strong right here. That's the only one that's showing that. But some of these are showing that it would be on the southern side of Hispaniola. And if it goes on the northern side, you still got to expand in high pressure, pushing this to the west. Do you see that in the ensembles? So now as we, as we go from six days, going towards seven days. Now we're at seven days. Showing it could go around, a high pressure could retract back. You can see it starts strengthening up on this one as well. Showing it to be somewhere by Turks and Caicos at this moment. While we got that next one coming through, and look at this one. That southern track showed it could be right below Cuba instead of way up here. See this? Multiple locations still shown in the ensembles where this can go. Even show a few of them, it could be on that southern track 
a little bit further to the west. Now, when you look at your control, remember, you're more like an outcome. You can see we're actually breaking apart right here as we go from six to seven days. We're actually breaking apart of possible locations, showing that it will go over landfall. It will break this apart, whichever one it favors. If it favors the southern side, we got a big problem for the Gulf, maybe even southeast. If it favors the northern side, we got a possible problem for the southeast, east coast, maybe a Bermuda, maybe a fish storm, maybe all the way up to Nova Scotia. So we still have it literally in seven days. And as we go further, you can see on this one, it favoring the north, still going around by Bahamas, but you can also see on the other ensembles, it could go further west right into the Gulf. And this is your first ensemble. Could be closer towards Florida. Look at this. Could be closer. So it's almost a 50-50. It could be close or it could be a little far away. So thank you so much for your time, everybody. Hope you have a great day today. That is my latest update. Hopefully I've earned your subscription. If this has helped you in any way, consider hitting that like button down below, even hitting that share button and give a better chance for this to be in front of people, that just strangers in general. Let them see what could potentially be coming around the corner. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate all of you. And as most of you know me, this is going into Sabbath this afternoon. That's why I put this alert out for this possible tornado threat. Tomorrow looks a lot better and a lot calmer. So I will be going through Sabbath. I will see you again on Sunday morning and potentially afternoon updates every single day from there. Now, before you go today, a real quick message, Matthew 5, 14 through 16. Make sure you be someone's light today. There's so much darkness in the world. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Amen. There's so much darkness in the world. Be the light. Don't fall with the same old category everyone else is falling in. Be the light. That's what people are looking for. There's a lot of followers and not a lot of leaders out there. Be the light for someone. Just make sure someone smile today. It's already doing a lot. Believe me, I've been there. And just someone changing my attitude, making me smile, feel so much better, have a whole different outcome of my day and my life. Be the light in the world. Remember, all glory does go to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh. And I always hope he keeps you safe every single day of your life. You and everyone around you. And forever. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Have a great weekend, everybody. Don't worry about the tropics. Let me worry about that for you. Have a great weekend. I will see you on Sunday. Thank <laughs> you.